Hello, I hope you've had a good week. Um, and if, like me, you know, kids have gone back to school, so you have a little bit more time for things, but not a lot. But that is why I'm going to do a video today. Get, make sure I get one done this week. Um, I just wanted to ask you all what the padlock on a website means to you. So when you see a padlock on the top of a website by the address bar, what does that mean to you? And so I'll pause there. So write a comment or anything if you want to. I should do this as an Instagram live and I'm a bit braver. Now, if that, if the answer to that question was in your head was, oh, it means it's secure, go a little bit deeper than that. What does that mean more than just, oh, it's secure? What part of it do you feel is secure? What insecure in what way? I'm really, really interested to know what you think the padlock can mean, um, how you interpret that as meaning something is secure. And, and then I just want to tell you quickly what that padlock actually means. So the padlock is usually, the padlock I'm talking about is the one that'll be up by the address bar usually, up where you'd see the www dot bit. Um, so, um, browsers are making it harder, Safari Pro, making it a bit harder to see the address bar, which I don't like, because I think understanding how web URLs work is really crucial to staying safe online. And if you look on my grid, um, I've got a photo of um, my daughter dressed as Mary Poppins sliding down a banister. She's not really, disclaimer, that's just how it looks because the point of it is that things aren't always how they seem online. So have a read of that and flick through the pictures to see some um, examples of how URLs can be misleading and I'll do a video about that another time if you think it would be interesting. Um, but the point is the padlock, the padlock I'm talking about is the one up there. And so typically a web address, you might be familiar with HTTP, www.website.com and then sometimes you see https www.website.com so it's that s means that it's got a secure certificate https means it's got a secure certificate or an ssl certificate and that stands for the only bit of jargon in this video stands for a secure socket layer so what that means is when you fill in a form on a website and whether that is a contact form or, you know, so you're just sending someone a message like, can you deliver me a cake next Wednesday? Or if you are entering credit card details, it means that um, when you click submit on that form, you fill in all your details, maybe sensitive information, maybe not. You fill in your details and when you click that submit button, there's a fraction of a millisecond. I should have looked up how long it might actually be, but it will depend on the hosting anyway. But there's a tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny bit amount of time where between clicking submit and that information you've entered being taken to wherever it needs to go. It may be that it needs to go into a database on the website. It may be that it needs to be emailed to the person who runs the database because it's just a message. It may be that it goes to a payment processor. There are different things that can happen when you hit that submit button. And there's this fraction of time between you hitting that button and it reaching its destination where it's kind of flowing through the interweb, if you like, in cyberspace. And in theory, someone who was some naughty, nasty person who was watching your network could just reach in and grab it at that point. Um, obviously, this is all simplified, but this is the gist of it. Between pressing that button and the information that you've entered getting to where it needs to be, someone could reach in and grab it and then read your personal information, which you don't want, obviously. Um, so when it's run over HTTPS, when that website has a secure certificate, if someone were to reach in and grab that information, when they looked at that information, it would be encrypted. So it would all just be gobbledygook and they couldn't use it. So that is the difference between being a website being over HTTP or HTTPS and having a secure certificate and that padlock is that if someone intercepted what you put into a form, they wouldn't be able to use your data that they get out of that by if they were spying. Now, one thing, I think people often think that it means their data will be stored securely. If you are entering data into a website that's got a padlock, it means it's stored securely. It's got nothing to do with how it's stored. It's got absolutely nothing to do with it. The form, uh, the point of the form, it goes into an email, it goes into a database. The, the secure certificate doesn't know if that person looks after their email properly. It doesn't know if the company are savvy about their cyber security. It doesn't know if the hosting is any good or if the person leaves their database password on a post-it note on their computer for everyone in the office to see. It's, um, there's, there's nothing else. There's no uh, security there. There's no sort of security for you. There's no peace of mind that it's being stored securely. It's just about this little transit bit. And so that I think is really important to understand that 
And for clients as well, when they're looking to have a website built and a client will say, oh, and can it be secure? <laughs> yeah, but that isn't a box you can tick. That isn't like, there isn't, there's no one single bubble we can put a website in to make sure it's always secure. And um, we sort of liken security to an onion where it's got lots and lots of layers. And so that secure certificate is a really, really important layer, but it is just that, it is just one layer in the bigger picture. So I started making websites nearly 20 years ago um, until reasonably recently, the last few years, you had to pay for a secure certificate. Um, meanwhile, Google, in its search results, started flagging up if a website wasn't served over HTTPS, it classed it as not secure. And obviously, businesses don't want people to think that about their websites. They don't want Google to say, oh, this website isn't secure. So at the same time, roughly the same time as Google saying everything's got to be served over HTTPS, um, an organisation called Let's Encrypt started making free SSL certificates, which is fantastic for the internet. It really opens up who could get one because the secure certificate, there's some of them were 30 quid. They're easily sometimes a couple of hundred pounds in the olden, olden days, um, but they make your whole address bar go green. There are different levels of security. And for a small business starting out, that was like a cost that you just wouldn't have expected. You wouldn't have expected to be hit with this cost of an SSL certificate and that you had to renew every year and pay your developer to set up and everything and change your website so that it worked on it. Um, so Let's Encrypt have made it a lot easier and a lot quicker to get a secure certificate. And that is fantastic for the internet, really. But in olden times, to get the secure certificate, the, issue, the company issuing them would have rung you up. They would have made sure you were a legitimate company. They, they had to find your information somewhere else online so that they could ring you with details you hadn't given them and talk to you and verify that you were a real business so that you really were who you said you were. So that doesn't happen now. To get these free certificates, you make up a dodgy spam website, you register a domain, you verify the domain against the secure certificate, but that's just a techie thing anyone can do. Um, there's, there's not the same level of security from a business point of view. So just understand the difference that whilst a secure certificate is very important in technical terms and it can stop some sorts of scams, it doesn't mean that the business is reputable or that they are any more reliable, really. Not, it doesn't really mean that. So just, I just wanted to sort of point that out, point out what a secure certificate actually does and is and means, and I'd be really interested to know if this has been useful and if you already knew that and if, or if you thought a padlock meant something different. Okay, thank you.